Hi, I just wanted to go over a few um, techniques you can use when you're suffering from anxiety, depression, or PTSD after trauma. A lot of times we tend to get or can get um, panic attacks or have severe anxiety or even get really depressed when we're kind of working through things and things are resurfacing and we're processing them, etc. So one technique you can do is like the five senses grounding technique. So you can if you feel like a panic attack coming on, this is really good for that. Or when you start getting very anxious, you can find five things that you see, four things that you hear, uh, three things that you can like touch or feel, um, two things that you can smell, and then one thing you can taste. And what that does is that kind of grounds you back in your body and gets you out of your head a little bit. So just kind of going over like your five senses, looking around, what can you see? Um, things that you can hear, what can you touch and feel, what things can you taste, and uh, once one thing that, you, or the, another thing that you can smell. Another way that you can do this to help get back in your body and quit being so like in your head sometimes is a distraction technique. You can look around a room and name all the things that you can see. You can look around a room and name all the red things or all the blue things or literally just everything that you see. And that will kind of get you out of your head and kind of like back into the present moment. You can also try and count backwards um, by threes from a hundred because um, that will force you to kind of like stop and think about things. And so that can be helpful sometimes too. You can recite a poem or a song, like singing a happy birthday song when you wash your hands or something like that can also be helpful to kind of ground you in the present moment. Another thing that you can do, obviously, is breathing. Um, breathing is a big thing with me personally. I, I enjoy that diaphragmatic breathing, the belly breathing that we tend to shy away from. We do it naturally as babies. And then when we learn what stress is around age six or seven, we're in elementary school, we learn stress, homework, chores, etc. cetera. Um, we tend to shy away from that and get into that shallow chest breathing. So uh, putting your hand on your belly, and then when you inhale, your belly expands. And when you exhale, your belly contracts, like back to your spine. That can be helpful for you as well well just taking you know five to seven seconds just doing three deep breaths can also help sometimes an audible sigh and relaxing your shoulders and uh, releasing tension in your jaw can also be helpful and then lastly just to kind of help you get back in your body um, you can put your feet flat on the floor and sit up or lie down or wherever you are um, and just start at the top of your head and go through like okay Go through all of your body systems like from the top down so you can start at the top of your head and you can focus on your body piece by piece and part by part so focus on your head focus on your neck focus on your shoulders focus on your right arm your fingers focus on your left arm your left fingers focus on your mid back focus on your chest um, sometimes people like to do like a light meditation or like um, for me i like warmth and heat so for me it's like okay feeling like bringing this sensation of warmth down from your head, bringing the sensation of warmth down to your shoulders, just imagining and envisioning this warm feeling through your low back, through your hips and your abdomen, bringing that heat all the way down to your thighs, unwinding, relaxing, feeling warmth in your knees, and then into your calves, your ankles, your feet, and then your feet should be touching the floor at least uh, if you're able to. Uh, I like to do it sitting up. That's just me. Um, but those are some techniques that you can use to kind of quickly reground yourself when you're getting really anxious or struggling with um, depression or PTSD or panic attacks. So hope that helps. Uh, feel free to join me um, on my meetup group, Rising Above Trauma, where we have bi-weekly meetings. And I will see you soon.